Coming up in this video, we take a look into North Korea. We decided to take a kluk tour to the DMZ, which is the demilitarized zone. It's borders between North and South Korea. We weren't sure what to expect from the DMZ tour. Would it be somber, tense, and surprisingly, it was both. But also, it was laced with a big dose of resilience and hope. Join us as we recount our Kluke experience from the informative ride to Seoul to the chills of the third infiltration tunnel. We share some unexpected lessons learned in this unique land caught between two worlds. This is the DMZ, the demilitarized zone at the border of North Korea. We do travel a lot and there's, there's lots of things that we wanted to see and achieve in our travel journey. We're nearly three years in. One of the things we always wanted to do was to come here to Korea, not just to see the city, but also to see the DMZ. It's such a famous point. It's actually one of the most guarded and heavily militarized borders in the world. So it's a big, uh, big opportunity to go and see that. So I'm very, very excited. Okay, so it looks like our meeting point is here. It's at um, the Metro exit number nine and uh, we're still waiting to connect. Our, we're supposed to be catching the bus in about 15 minutes. You used to be able to get yourself to the border and wait to get daily tickets, but due to the ongoing tensions that are happening right now, you do have to take a tour. So you can take a look in the video, our video description, and you can find a link to the tour that we took or to others that may interest you, but keep that in mind and book ahead. Another thing to keep in mind also is that um, th there could be a chance that the day that you have a booked tour that the DMZ is completely closed down due to ongoing issues at the actual border. And also, depending what time your tour bus gets there, there are only a limited amount of spots per day and not every tour bus or tour group actually is awarded the tickets. But if you book through Kluk and you use Dora like we did, your chances will be even higher. <coughs> Very attractive bus. Yeah, kind of like reminds me a little bit of like a, a Indian. Yeah. Right? Like yeah, the really colorful does, yeah. patterns and prints and everything. Okay, so so far um, we've had to fill some information on a paper giving our names, our nationality, and our passport numbers. Um, and then when we get to the border, uh, she's already taken, gathered our passports just to show them all to get a passport uh, ticket for all of us to enter because it is kind of crossing the border. So we are ever so slightly on the border in the country, so that's why they need the passports. Where we're at now, and it's been an hour. Hello, good morning again, everyone. Nice to meet you. Yeah, and inside the building over there, uh, there are lots of people already inside the building here. So I think we're going to stop by the restroom and get some coffee. And then we see so we've just stopped at the DMC um, area before where they buy tickets. Right now we're going to grab coffee and get back. <laughs> This is funny, this one I have, my friend Rachel was gave me that a long time ago, I have that though. This is the money. It's cute, look over there, they have like the views in the park. Yeah, I know. Didn't expect that.
So we have our entrance time and uh, the entrance time will be for 10.10 for us. We're really lucky. Um, but yeah, so a couple things that we've I wanted to mention. Um, you'll notice throughout Korea uh, in Seoul and many different areas that you'll see these statues here that I'm about to show you. Um, so during the invasion of uh, Korea by Japan, many women were uh, uh, basically abducted and taken to Japan and forced into female slavery. They say about 200,000 women, but uh, to this day, Japan has never um, acknowledged that. So every once a week, uh, people were going in front of government buildings uh, to protest. And so now they've put uh, all these different statues with young girls facing different spots um, in honor of that, and especially facing uh, the North Korean border. The ribbons that you see lined on along the fence here are from South Korean families wishing for peace with North Korea and also for reunification with their family members. There are many families that are still separated to this day. So a nice story about this train here. So there's the DMZ demilitar demilitarized zone where um, they found this train. It was sitting there for like a super long time. So they ended up going and um, bringing it over here. But it was intertwined and intertangled with a tree. And so when they up, when they brought it here, they decided to uproot the tree to keep it intertwined with it. So it's really, really interesting. So another thing to keep in mind when you book these tours, whether you're going to use Kluke or any other uh, type of tour company, um, the the guides have to arrive and there's a limited amount of tickets that they issue every day and so um, sometimes if you come for your tour they might get a later date or time so uh, you know if you if, if it says your tour is going to end at 2 you might not be back until 6 30 because your entrance time might only be two o'clock um, so definitely keep that in mind don't don't squeeze these tours in tight if you have a flight later on or you're going to be rushed okay so that's the number one thing also, the other thing to keep in mind as well is that it's possible that you could arrive and they, you won't have your uh, opportunity to go to in at all, because, um, like they said, there's been a couple times where South Korea, uh, sorry, North Korea has flown drones, so they had to shut everything down, get everybody out, because they had to shoot down the drones. So um, you have to be flexible. You have to be prepared for that to happen. I don't think it happens very often. Um, however, Dora, our tour guide, she's really amazing, and she uh, has some seniority, so she's always pretty good at getting the earlier tickets. Another really cool thing is that you can, um, well, technically they stopped the sale of currency, and, um, but you, so there was a new president that came in last year, and uh, you were not, uh, he wanted to stop the sale of being able to purchase North and South, uh, North Korean money. But there is still some left here, and so they're still um, just selling it in basically until they run out. Not supposed to be, but they are. And uh, we got a note, so that's really cool. I'll show you guys that later. So this is where we can buy North Korean currency, which we are very much interested in doing. So let's go and have a look. Oh, look at that. <laughs> did, you, did you tell everyone about the random American tourists who decided to oh, break yeah. cover and uh, yeah. try and run across the border to North Korea? Well, I think you guys probably know that from the media, but there was, Donald Trump came back and, and had a meeting with, um, with what's his name? Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un, and they stood like toe-to-toe -to -toe at the border. And um, after that, that was in 2018, and so you could actually go... Um, previously, before the pandemic, you could actually go and see that spot. Uh, but well, what were you saying? Yeah, so it, it, they, I think it's called the Peace Village, but it's the only place where uh, negotiations between North Korea and South Korea will take place. 
and previously obviously tourists were allowed to go there as Jen said and one guy um, forget his I don't forget what the name was but he just decided to like break cover and try and go across sneak the border, across and which is quite phenomenal because actually the demilitarized zone has one of the biggest concentrations of landmines in the world like the our tour guide was saying if they tried to clear them it would take up to 200 years clear them. so um this guy was pretty brave to be doing that so that guy okay. that guy made it bad for all of us so now yeah. we can't experience that so as a tourist be mindful and respectful <laughs> in other people's countries and if it says don't film don't record don't go here don't go there can do it. I wonder though. <laughs> well, I wonder if he's though. in jail. He's probably in prison. Oh, without a doubt, he'd probably. And I don't think you'd want to be in prison in North Korea. But, no. Uh, yes. Yeah. Unbelievable story though. I mean, <laughs> I, I do remember vaguely do hearing about something like that, but I don't really uh, know. I didn't know until she told us. But also, didn't know about the mines. We've mm. actually been to one other country which has a large amount of mines too, which is Cambodia. Cambodia. Yeah. Um, but they've so, removed a lot, but actually. Removed yeah, a lot. yeah, just but some near the border. Obviously areas. with the DMZ, they're not going to do that here because mm. technically the two countries are still at war. Um, officially, they have not uh, ended the war. So. Yeah. So this is the main like facility area. Tons and tons and tons of tourist bu uh, tour buses. I think you can get like when I was looking, you can get a round trip bus just to come here yeah. without a tour or anything. But I really don't know what you do. So this is all just the main area, the Freedom Bridge, um, the train. The... It's quite apt at the moment. We've got the sun there and yeah. we can still see the moon on the other side. So that's oh, kind of yeah, Kind of apt for the moment, I guess. <laughs> the two sides in view. Right. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so we had an amazing time down there. I, w I guess I shouldn't say amazing, but um, it's really well put together. It definitely is strenuous. Yeah. Definitely. On the way up, for sure. And when you're down there, standing upright is very difficult. That's right. So I'm about five, six and a little bit, and um, I had to be like this, yeah. like most of the time. You can't bring anything down with you, all phones, hats, everything, cameras, you have to put in the locker, um, which is great because if not, most people don't listen to the rules. So, and uh, obviously it's still a military zone. So yeah, and we got some yeah. t-shirts. Uh, Leon and I got matching ones, you can't see the back, but uh, it's a, got uh, some writing on the back, which you can't see. And what else did you get there, babe? The store, which was pretty cool. Uh, I also got some, uh, just for a quick snack, some boiled eggs. That's so cool. <laughs> great, Never yeah. seen that before. Yeah. In Canada, uh, in Canada we have them, but like in, they're in the cooler and they're pre-peeled. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, for sure. Very neat. That's cool. I mean, eggs are a great source of nutrition. So. But uh, it's pretty quick. You go down, you go to the end, you turn around and you come back up. So. Now time for the photo. <laughs> so there's a lot of a different history with the different tunnels. Um, the third one here, you can get the closest to the North Korean border. So um, here, you're a matter of feet away from North Korean territory. The fourth tunnel, however, if you are someone like Leon and I, who enjoys documenting and sharing with people, um, either through blogs or vlogs, you can choose, uh, which is what we wanted to do, to go to the fourth tunnel which is quite a bit further away. However, um, you are allowed to film and take photos there. So that's something to keep in mind when you're booking your tour. So yeah, it's uh, been a very unique experience. It feels a little bit surreal. Um, definitely Korea is, has been a country I've always wanted to visit. Um, <clears throat> we definitely will be returning to explore more of uh, the country. But uh, I highly encourage you, if you come here, to make sure you come and pay a visit here and also support the experience and um, the cause here because, as you know, uh, you know, North Korea is not just North Korea. It represents communism and um, I'm not sure your political perspectives and we don't want to talk too much politics, but it is uh, not just as simple as 
uh, Korean issue. I think uh, we're all starting to realize more and more now that it's becoming a more prevalent worldwide issue. So, yeah. I want to show you guys the bill that we got. Not because we are supporting. Oh, yes. But it is, uh, this is the older one. So I guess they had all of the bills and then in North Korea they stopped them and then recycled all of them. And like I was saying in the other, earlier in the video, um, when there was a different government over a year ago, they were trying to work more on peace and talks and whatever. And um, so they allowed different types of trade and different kinds of things. And uh, But now with the new one, they said, no, not allowed. So they're just... Se like selling out what they've got left, left, yeah. Basically, so if you want to get one, you should probably come soon. So. This is what it looks like here. What you, what you can notice on this bill is that that's the the father. What's his name there? Uh, um, a f it was the father of Kim Jong Un, but I can't remember. So this if is it, what we paid. His it was name twelve thousand. Uh, and then there's their bridge, I think. Mm. Yeah, interesting. So, eh? I think they try to say that it's worth like four hundred dollars. Yeah, but it's so not. It really doesn't have much value. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> this is interesting. So it's a hard boiled egg. We've never seen uh -huh. it kind of look like this before. Yeah, see, That's how mine looks inside. Different color. It comes out very easily. Um, I don't know how, how would they have managed to make the color like that unless it's a different type of. I don't really understand. I'm not sure I like it to be honest. I know. So, uh, on the benches here, this is the smoking area. It says DMZ, the shape of the benches, and it's got all the flags. Look from the UN. Look, baby, you're over here, no? Right beside Canada. Ah, huh. I don't know my flags well, but I know this one. <laughs> Look different. Stay there, stay there. <laughs> Did you see this, babe? Did you see this? Uh, yeah. Feedback. It seems a bit random. I don't really know why it's here, but... Did they win ever, or like... Well, maybe they hosted one of the World Cups, or I don't know. Okay, so we just found out about the eggs. So they actually roast the eggs. And um, she said that sometimes they'll even just um, put them in a, in like the sauna and just let them cook like that. So, so that's the difference. Um, but they're quite chewy, which um, is different. I think maybe yeah. you'd have to have a couple, and, you know, maybe put some salt. It's an acquired taste. So this is a fire beacon. So they would light the fires if there was any problems to warn one another. What's this out here? So this is all outside the door exploratory here. These guys have the best spot right there. <laughs> I think the other direction you weren't allowed to film. Look, there's the villages. So those villages that you can see, well, you probably can't see right there. Out there, that's all North Korea. All of these. See the flag there? Can you find the sign that she said? I'm trying to look for it. Mm. So South Korea built a sign, I'm going to try to see if we can see it, that is very similar to like the Hollywood sign. And it actually, what does it mean? North, North Korea is better? Is that what she said? Yeah, North Korea is the best. Or something like that, yeah. Oh yeah, that uh, the rivers, rivers here. Yeah, I know, but 
interesting story here. So this is the South Korean flag and they erected a flagpole um, just to mark their area. And then when North Korea saw that, of course, they had to turn around and also erect a flagpole that was even higher. Okay, so now we're at the uh, local community area. There's a village that grows three different main produces. Here, there's a ginseng, soybeans, and what was the other one? And uh, rice, sorry. Rice. Yeah. And um, rice so uh, here, um, those are the things that they grow here. It's only a group of 700 people, um, and they are farmers, and they take care of the lands here, and they, um, most of them are ex uh, military. So, and they have to, it's a very small community. So, uh, oh yeah, we got those at the restaurant, yeah. So, we're taking a look. Uh, we heard that there's some really good chocolate covered soybeans. So, that's yeah. what we're going to take a look at. And it's also great to support these guys as well, you know. Yeah, sure. Sure. And then, Bob's here. And, oh, and you can get uh, a piece of the wine old bar bar. There, North Korean wine. We factory made wine there. And this is a soybean chocolate and the black bean chocolate here. So a different color having a different flavors. For your information, this red one is a milk chocolate with the black bean. Milk chocolate with the black bean. White one is a white chocolate with yep. the soybean. Yep. Orange flavor chocolate with black bean. So yeah, that's another thing. So um, they changed all of the barbed wire covering the entire place um, once. And when they did, they preserved some of the pieces of the original barbed wire that you can buy. So I think we're going to look for that too. Because I think that would be kind of yeah, we're a bit unsure as to where the travel. We travel all the time. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it's like a plaque wow. kind of thing. Oh yeah, we can't do that. That's a real shame. Oh, that's a little bit too big for us. I don't know what I expected, oh, but I would definitely buy that if we had somewhere to put it. 100% I would. That's incredible. But... Okay. Alright, well, let's get some beans and then there's a garden outside, so we'll go take a look. How much is it? I don't know. We'll find out. Mystery <laughs> price. <laughs> so mystery. Okay, so now we've got these here. Uh, 20,000. So 10,000 each. Thank you. Do, do you take the card? Yes, yeah, sir. Do you take it? Thank you. Mm. Look, French fried almonds. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Okay, so let's go outside. We're going to take a look at, there's some pretty flowers. Let's go see what's going on outside. <laughs> Bless it. Take a photo in the flower heart. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hold on. Bada bum. There. It's got, uh... 
You can, yeah. So it's what? Ah, Christian, yeah. Yeah. We loved this tour. It was fantastic. This is why we came to Korea. Indeed. K-pop is cool, and all the other cool things here in Korea are amazing too. But uh, this is what it was all about for us for this trip. So we hope that you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you soon. But not soon enough. So we will leave in the video description a link to Kluke, uh, which is who we booked through. They're a fantastic platform if you're traveling Eastern Asia. You can get tickets, you can get um, all sorts of different things, you get SIM cards, it's fantastic. So I encourage you to use that um, link and to definitely get the app. You can get better prices on theater tickets, tours, SIM cards and everything. Um, and so if you click the link, uh, you can get our tour that we had here or a vast array of other ones. We encourage you to book ahead of time. We wanted to do a bigger, longer, more thorough uh, tour. Unfortunately, it was only available tomorrow, but we are headed to our next country tomorrow. So um, yeah, and also don't forget to check our website at closerlabs.com. So you can definitely find more information there. You can also find links to the Kluke website there yes, as well. Absolutely. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Right, thank you again, and we'll see you soon. But not soon enough. <laughs>